The Australian Government have gone on a bit of a spending spree in this year's budget. By 2024, we're set to have a record net debt of $966 billion, almost $1 trillion. Here are a few of the notable winners and losers. Unemployed young people. If you're young and unemployed, you're in luck. The government will pay companies to hire you under the new $4 billion Job Maker Hiring Credit Scheme. Basically, it means that if you're between 16 and 29, companies will get paid $200 per week to hire you, as long as you work an average of 20 hours or more. If you're between 30 and 35, the company will get $100 a week. It should be noted that major banks are not included. So yeah, if you're young, Winner! However, in Australia, it's currently illegal for a hiring company to ask a potential candidate for their age, unless it's to make sure you're over 18 years old if you'll be working in a bar. So I guess with this new JobMaker hiring credit scheme, all that goes out the window. Not only will it be legal to ask your age, it will be financially encouraged. According to the Australian Government's own Human Rights Commission, age discrimination is a human rights issue. So I guess with the new job maker, bye bye human rights. Of course, if you're an unemployed older person, this budget ain't going to help you. And by old, I mean older than 35. There will be no financial incentive for businesses to employ you. If you're a qualified 36-year-old unemployed engineer applying for a job, and a qualified 34-year-old comes along and applies for the same job, who do you think they're going to give the job to? So yes, unemployed older people are budget losers. Actually, this affects my family directly. My wife recently graduated from TAFE. She's 38 years old and looking for work. Now, not only does she have to struggle in these hard economic times, businesses are now being incentivized not to employ her and employ a slightly younger person instead. Yeah, thanks government. Apprentices get a pretty good deal under the new $1.2 billion Boosting Apprenticeships Wage Subsidy Scheme. Under the scheme, 100,000 new apprenticeships will be entitled to a 50% wage subsidy, meaning it will be cheaper for companies to take on new apprentices. Winner! For those of you who are lucky enough to already be employed, don't worry, you get some money too. $17.8 billion worth of personal income tax cuts are coming your way. Depending on how much you earn, you're set to get an extra $255 to $2,430. Winner! If you're looking for work, that is, you're on the Australian Government's Job Seeker payment, don't expect a pay rise. Actually, expect the opposite. Between April and September, the Job Seeker payment was essentially doubled to $1,115. From September, it was reduced to $815. And from next year, it's due to drop again, back down to $565, or about $40 per day, putting a whole bunch of people back into poverty. In this year's budget, as always, job seekers are losers. Pensioners, carers and other eligible recipients will receive $2.6 billion in economic support payments. This equates to two one-off payments of $250. Nothing to sneeze at, but meh. $250 won't even pay one week's rent in most places in Australia. I guess it's just a vote-buying exercise. Despite the budget really promoting jobs, childcare have really missed out big time. The government seemed to want to create all these new jobs, but has anyone asked who will do these jobs and how will these workers manage their children? Personally, I don't really like the idea of both parents working, but from an economic standpoint, hiring a childcare worker not only provides a job, but frees up another person to do another job. Why haven't the government provided support for this increasingly broken childcare sector? It doesn't make much sense from an economics point of view. But by far the biggest expenditure in this year's budget is the $26.7 billion Instant Asset Write-Off Scheme for 3.5 million businesses with a turnover of up to $5 billion. Basically, you can pop out and buy something for your business, and the government will let you claim the full cost of that item. As the Treasurer said, a cafe can now buy that new umbrella that they've always wanted for the table out the front. A farmer can now purchase a new hoe without worrying about the tax implications. And a trucking company can now buy that new pot plant for the front office. I mean, the options are endless. Anyway, that's the Budget 2020. I didn't include everything as I fell asleep halfway through, but you get the idea. Already have a job? 
Job seeker.